Hello and welcome to my tutorial on creating a channel point reward for Twitch that displays a random GIF from a selection that you have. Let me give you an example of how this works for me. So I've got a Twitch channel point reward that says summon a little devil because when you click it, each time hopefully <laughs> you get a different GIF from a selection. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing that you need to make sure that you have is that you've got the mix it up overlay added as a browser source to OBS. And this is where you find it. You go to settings, overlays, and it's this little link here that you need. You might already have added a selection of overlays of your own. Let's just go ahead and use this default one. So make sure you've copied that, that you've gone to the plus button in your sources here, browser, create a new browser, so call it mix it up. Sorry, I've, I've used no spaces because I've actually already got one here, but let me go ahead and show you. And just paste in this URL that you've copied and you've got your browser source. Make sure that you resize it, position it wherever you want, lock it if you don't want it to go walk about. Then we're gonna go back to mix it up. Now for this next step, there is a little bit of prep work involved before we can create this channel point. I'm going to go ahead and just assume that you've already got the gifts that you want for this channel point reward. I've got mine. I found these cute little fat cats for the purposes of this tutorial. So I'll show you what I do with those. Now I save them. I'm going to go to open up notepad. This is what you need for part of the channel point reward instruction. And what we're going to need is we're going to need the file path for each of these gifts. The way to do that is shift right click. And if you look down here, you've got this command that says copy as path, copy as path, go to notepad, paste it in. Next important thing before we copy the next one though, is get rid of those speech marks. I call them speech marks. You might call them inverted commas, apostrophes, get rid of them. We don't need them. Then just go to your next one, shift, right click, copy as path, paste it in get rid of those speech marks. You don't need them. It's not going to work if you keep them in, so just get rid of them. Then go ahead and do the same for each of the GIFs that you would like to use for this channel point reward. I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Hope I haven't missed any. Ah. Right, get rid of those speech marks. There we go, all looks good. Now save it, make sure it's something memorable that you're gonna remember. There we go, mine's summon fat cat. Fantastic. Now let's go back to mix it up because now we can finally create the channel point reward. You can find that here. If you look in the hamburger menu, you've got this option here, Twitch channel points. That's what we're using to so click on that. And if you haven't already got the Twitch channel point created in Twitch itself, you're going to create a new channel point reward. If you have already got this reward existing in Twitch, you're going to add this command to existing reward. I don't have it, so I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to give it a name, summon fat cat. There we go. Ta-da! Successfully created. Now let's go ahead and edit that command here. See, edit command. We're going to go in. There's my reward name, summon fat cat. Mine doesn't belong to a command group and that's fine at the moment. I'm going to go down here to action. And the first action we need to add is the file read and write. Here it is. File read and write. Click the plus button to add it. We're going to edit this action to choose read random line from file. We need to click the file path, which is summon fat cat, and we need to give it a special identifier name. This makes sure that when we ask to add it to the overlay, that it's picking specifically from this read and write file. So when it looks for the special identifier name, it will go here. So I'm going to call it fat cat. There we go. Now we need to add the second action. The next action we're going to add is add overlay and images. Here it is. Overlay images and videos. That one here. Plus button to add it. 
we're going to change the action again to image. Keep this at default, but in the image file path, we're not going to click the file again, the notepad. We're going to put in a special identifier name so that when it's drawing all the GIFs that we want, it's going to specifically go to this file that we've got here. You need to put in a dollar sign. That's the command. And then make sure that the word or the phrase that you've got is exactly the same as a special identifier name. It needs to be exactly the same or it won't draw towards it. I'm going to change the duration from zero to five. Put it for whatever duration you want. Just make sure you have got a duration or it's not gonna show anything whatsoever. All right, that looks good to me, so let's save it. Fantastic. So let's go to OBS and let's test this out please keep your fingers crossed that this is going to work we can test this out by going to test command this little play button here just leave that alone that's fine as it is click test command Ta -da! look at that and you can keep testing it oh got a little summon little devil there sorry little buddy didn't mean to click you but you're welcome anyway and just click through and check that it is picking a random gif from the selection that you've saved. Oh, I'm gonna keep spamming it now. <laughs> See, you might decide that it's not showing for long enough and you can just edit, you can edit the duration in overlay as well, okay? So I hope that helps. If you have any questions or if anything's unclear, please write some comments and I will try and get back to you or I can try and edit this video to, to make anything a little bit clearer, but I hope that it helps.